My mouth will proclaim your grace. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship. Bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. For the years I endured that generation, I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let us worship the Lord, for he is our God.
against a godless nation, from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God, since you, O God, are my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guides. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart. O oh God, my God, why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, so was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Feel the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heaven, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and heart, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gathered.
forth land and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and, and from, from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. The angel carried me away to a high mountain and showed me the Holy City. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised. In the city of our God, His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great King's city, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself a stronghold. For the kings assemble together, together they advance. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling sees them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so <coughs> we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O oh God, we ponder your law. Within your temple, your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices, the people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgment. Walk through Zion, walk all round it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. carried me away to a high mountain and showed me the holy city.
prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, The heavens are my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all these things, when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray, all-powerful and ever-living God, at morning, noon, and evening we pray, cast out from our hearts the darkness of sin, and bring us to the light of your truth. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all light and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapetos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Lord.